The man formerly known as BitBoy Crypto, then known as Ben Armstrong, and then once again known as BitBoy Crypto, put out a video entitled, Ada is Dead for Real. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh and I'm here to help you find digital liberty in the complex world of crypto. Remember that anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. Normally, when I see these kinds of videos come out of BitBoy, I, I usually expect that there's some kind of a clickbait type thing because usually he's pretty positive about Cardano. And I understand that he might not be the most reliable voice in the crypto space. Uh, according to his reputation, he will shill anybody that pays him. Still, I, I do feel like he has been pretty accurate generally when it comes to Cardano's superior principles and contrarian methodology. But for some reason, he seems to have changed his tune on Cardano uh, based on what I'm seeing from some of the reactions on social media. So let's find out why. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. Home of the BitSquad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all of the interwebs, scattered that they may be. This is a this is a hard video to make, I think, because I think it's going to hit a lot of you guys square in the face. Look, we, we got to say why why are we investing in Cardano? Uh, the reason why I'm investing in Cardano is because Ada was one of my best investments, period, uh, ever. Actually, it did absolutely phenomenal uh, for about five cents up. Okay, that is not why I'm invested in Cardano. I I'm in the crypto space because I believe in it principally, in, the, in what it's supposed to do for the world, and Cardano seems to fit that narrative best for what it's trying to do in the world, the change that it's trying to make. It seems to hold to first principles more than most other cryptocurrency ecosystems in the industry. That's why I still hold Cardano. And it hasn't been a bad investment for me either. I mean, like, I, I am, like, mostly in Cardano native tokens, but uh, most of the Cardano native assets that I have held have actually appreciated pretty well through the bull market. So it's also paying off for me when it comes to the gains, but that's not why I'm in it. The point is this. We're looking around and we're seeing a lot of these other chains like Solana, like AVAX. The price explosion they're getting, the users they're getting, Man, I tell you what, really, really, really going up, making progress. These ecosystems are blowing up. Sui, check out Sui, absolutely killing it. Tuncoin, killing it. We got so many other ones. And Cardano still is just, hmm, the market cap's up. I mean, people use it, I, I think. We're going to check out Cardano DeFi here soon. I hope it's good people are using it. But the numbers compared to some of these other chains are not fantastic. And of course, look, guys, there are ways to fudge numbers any way you want to fudge them. Uh, okay, if you want to show me Cardano's number one chain, you can find something to show it. If I want to show you it's the very, very worst one ever in the history of mankind, I can probably find something to show that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that because it's not. I do believe it is has the potential to be one of the better blockchains. But You know, uh, I feel like there's this impatience in the space where people just want whatever's going to go to the moon quickest. But, like, quicker isn't necessarily better. You see meme coins take off like crazy, but they don't have the liquidity that it actually takes to exit those positions when they do appreciate like crazy. The thing that, like, with Cardano's slow and steady approach, and, and like, this is crypto, so things grow faster than... Uh, other areas of other industries, you know, the stock market's a, a much bigger market, so it grows slower. But the thing is, with like growing slower, growing more methodically, attracting actual people, that helps to bolster your liquidity. It helps you to actually be a legitimate DeFi trading platform. And if you grow too quickly, too fast, you, you don't really have that. Uh, like, the thing, the market cap is dictated by price. It's not dictated by liquidity. The liquidity needs to build over time. It needs to establish trust. It needs to be reliable. These other ecosystems don't have that. So, like, anybody who's who's taken on that really impatient approach that's like, oh, other coins are outperforming it only in price, it does not mean that it is in a better place to actually set itself up for mass adoption. It does not mean that it's actually creating value elsewhere in the world. It doesn't mean that it's actually at a solid place to where it can be that cryptocurrency of, of the world. You know, 
That, that's the thing with this whole impatience thing. Price means very little when it actually comes to mass adoption. Here is the question, guys. Here's the pivotal question. Are we good standing on ideals and watching our portfolios take a hit because we're not in with, we'll just call it them, the coins that have the bigger backing, the VC backing, some of the uh, more suspect trad five figures coming in, backing some of these projects. Uh, but number go up, number go up. A, yes, uh, a lot of us in this space are willing to let our portfolios take a hit if it means that we're actually building right. Because at this point, we don't even actually have to appreciate higher and faster than other chains do. We just have to wait long enough until they collapse on themselves for trying to build too quick, too fast. Uh, so yeah, like I, I will rather hold to my principles. Uh, I've asked this question before, if Cardano stays in price, if it never moves from the current price that it's at, would it be considered a failure? And like the actual appropriate answer to that is no, because that's not the mission. The mission is to create value. The mission is to go out and change the world. And in that process, inherently, the price does have to go up. Uh, so the fact that Cardano continues to build, that products are continuing to be launched, that there are actually Cardano native tokens out there that are making a change in the world, that that is the success story of Cardano. And the price will follow. Things are changing in the space. I have made money through the bear market because I have paid attention to crypto projects that are that have strong fundamentals. But it's not about the price. I'm holding to my fundamentals here. We've seen the institutional investing numbers for ADA. They're not awful. It's one of the you know upper echelon projects, but it can't touch Ethereum. It can't touch Solana, not even close. And I think that one thing we have to really understand, Cardano community and ADA gang, is crypto's changing. The the new person coming in, what we're seeing with these retail investors that are now starting to trickle in or trickle in, is they want to know about new projects. They don't want something that's older. They want something memeish. They want something new. They want to feel like they're early. Cardano's been developed for so long that I don't think people feel that way about Cardano anymore. And do we stand on these ideals? Or do you say shoot? If, if it maintains the same practices, the same principles as the traditional system, there's virtually no change and it doesn't make any sense to do anything. There is plenty of new things happening in crypto. Virtually every project that exists within the Cardano ecosystem, mainstream crypto hasn't even heard of before. They don't know anything about Project Noom. They know very little about World Mobile, only what's, you know, been talked about with like a coin bureau recently. They don't know anything about Cornucopius. They don't know anything about any of the massive innovations that have been developed here over this past couple of years, and they've stayed away from it because of that narrative that like, oh, it's a ghost chain, there's nothing happening. The price of these, these things have been artificially kept down. You can see so many things in this ecosystem that are still building, that actively have a product, that have real quality things that are worth less than a $20 million market cap. That is freaking wild. You can't find that anywhere else in mainstream crypto. Uh, how in the world can we get Cardano more into the RWA narrative? How much more can we get Cardano into kind of the cutting edge of these blockchains that are doing all kinds of different things and they're already working successfully? Maybe not perfect. Some congestion on Solana recently. They're not perfect, but a lot of these chains seem to have progressed a little bit further in terms of actual not only is it community, community is not the right word because anywhere anywhere you show a poll up, Cardinal, Charles talked about this week, Cardano community is going to come and they're going to vote on it. Cardano is going to win. Hey, 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 hey. But people are not voting with their money. People vote with their money on where the space is going. And, and I have not given up on Cardano for this bull run. But it scares me, guys. It, it scares me to see these other chains blowing up and getting a lot of recognition. And your average person out there has even been in crypto a while, they can't name three projects on ADA. I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Almost nobody in crypto that is not in the Cardano community can name three. I don't even think most of them can name one, to be honest with you. Okay, Mintwap, there you go. I can do it. 
I, I can name, you know, probably, probably 10 or so, okay? I rest my case. I, I mean, he just demonstrated that, like, nobody knows what's actually happening in Cardano. Nobody knows that there's products here. There's a constant, like, joke that happens in the mainstream crypto space that it's a ghost chain. And it happens over and over again, but, like, because of that, nobody's actually looking. And there's stuff here that is actually very high quality stuff, stuff that beats a lot of quality that exists out there in mainstream crypto. And it's incredibly low valued because those morons keep shutting it down. Nobody's looking, nobody's paying attention. And that's an advantage that Cardano holders have. But but the point is your average person in crypto can't, okay? Even your average degen probably can't. They're degening on other coins. And, and why? Because the money and the price action is better on some of these other chains and they're getting more usage. So that if you're on an exchange and there's more usage, that means there's more liquidity. It means you're saving on fees and price impact and slippage and things like that. So, so uh, the thing is, is that I think it's as simple as this. Do, do you leave Cardano and do you go into other chains for the remainder of this bull run to try to get some bigger gains or do we surrender the ideals of Cardano somewhat? Do we? And of course, Charles will tell you, you can have, all, have it all. You can have both. I respect Charles. I'm sure that's what he would say posed with this question. Oh, I can't believe he just said that. No, no, we do not surrender on ideals. That's the worst idea. It completely eliminates the entire value proposition of like what we're here for in crypto. That makes absolutely no sense. Listen, if I were to tell you that any given crypto project shoots up to like 200, 300, 400 million dollar market cap. And I celebrate that like crazy, you would think I was a moron. Because if you're in mainstream crypto, you, you know that that is nothing. I'm telling you right now that there are a number of projects out there that if they were to make it to 300, 400 million dollar market cap, that would be a hundred X, maybe more in the case of a lot of these projects. And they're not bad projects. Look, I've been in the crypto space since 2018. One could argue since 2013, but I wasn't really paying attention back then. I've been in the space for a while. I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And I'm, I'm telling you that like, there's some good stuff here. It's just that nobody's paying attention. This is this is the perfect contrarian situation. It's the perfect artificial situation where people are kept away from things. They, they don't even bother to look, but there's value being created. I, I, I wanna direct your attention to a tweet that I put out over the weekend. And that tweet says, uh, wanna know why I'm confident that Cardano will be around in five to 10 years. It's because the prime intention of most of the people here is create value outside of Cardano, which will bring people in. And I list a bunch of these projects here that are doing things outside of the Cardano blockchain that are creating value elsewhere in, in parts of the world where like they don't even know that they're interacting with blockchain. They don't know that they're using blockchain. It's created a way for people to drive value into the Cardano ecosystem in these major markets, and, and they don't even know that it's happening because they're creating value out in the world. They're doing things in the world that is actually changing the way they live their lives, and it's all built on blockchain technology, and they don't even know that they're using it. This is the case with all of the projects that I listed here, as well as a ton more in the Cardano ecosystem, because those are the principles of what we're founded on. We don't need the number to go up. We don't need VCs to be out here dumping a ton of money just so they can pull it out from under us later. What we need is value that is created out in the world. And just because the markets haven't matured yet, just because the, these different projects haven't grown like crazy and exploded doesn't mean that the value is not being delivered. It doesn't mean that the seeds haven't been planted and they will grow. But guys, there's 70, now 60% of the aid is supply up in staking. And it's, it's a lot of individuals. There's some whales, but it's not a lot of big money. It's not institutional money that's coming into Cardano because so much of the liquidity is locked up in the staking. And as long as it stays that way, uh, it's people aren't gonna be able to put big money in, uh, I, I believe. And so, we're seeing crypto go TradFi. We're seeing everything go RWA, which is TradFi. That is what it is, guys. Bringing off chain on on chain. TradFi Finance, bringing it here, okay? It, do we see, do we want Cardano to get swept up in that narrative? Or do we want to see it hold fast? And, and do we want to see the Cardano community continue 
to hold on to this coin and not let people from the outside really buy it because the liquidity is, is, is not necessarily there. Of course, look, you can go on exchange, find the liquidity. But when 60% of your supply is locked up, obviously that's a large amount. That means that it's impossible for them to get a gigantic portion of the supply no matter what. And I think ADA holders are gonna have to start giving up on ADA for them to be able to get enough of the supply. And if they're not ever ever able to get most of the supply or, or the portion of the supply that they require, then it's not gonna go anywhere, guys. What the heck is he talking about? What, 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 if, if people are just staking their ADA, then institutional money can't get into it? Uh, if people are staking the ADA, if they're holding on to it, then that increases scarcity. If they're not selling it, scarcity leads to a higher demand when people are actually going to buy it. Uh, people people staking their ADA doesn't doesn't keep the price low. I, I don't know where this is coming from. And the other thing that like is very clear throughout what he's saying that like he he doesn't see RW, RWAs happening on Cardano, but they're all over the place. There are RWA projects that are building, and some of them are named in that list that I, I gave before. It is happening on Cardano, and arguably Cardano is a better chain for RWAs to exist on, because if there is ever a hard fork that happens on a blockchain that does have to split into two different blockchains, two different copies of the same blockchain, RWA projects have to choose which of these blockchains are actually going to be represented because their reserves can't just be split into both. That doesn't happen on Cardano because of the hard fork combinator that they have access to, which which means that there's no card there's no blockchain splits that happens on Cardano. So arguably, the Cardano blockchain is a better space for RWAs to to live than than other blockchains are. I don't think this will be a significant issue going into it because I mean yeah. The, RWA projects will just choose if that ever does happen. But like, I, I doubt that it'll be a significant issue. You know, it's a it's amazing to me that uh, this this sentiment is coming from Ben because like he's been in this space for a long enough time to know that ADA never acts like the rest of the market. It never moves with everything. It's always been very separated when it comes to how it moves in price. There have been times when the entire market is red and Cardano is up there shooting up green for some random reason. There have been times when Cardano goes down and the rest of the market is doing whatever it's doing. Uh, Cardano, for some odd reason, just doesn't move with the rest of the market. It, it, it doesn't drop when the market drops. It doesn't go when the market goes. And, and Crypto, especially when it comes to altcoin season and which cryptos pump one after the other, it, it goes in order. Like every every crypto takes a turn going up and, and some of them go down at the same time. Like it it doesn't act the same. With somebody with the historical knowledge that, that Ben should have, that he should be able to recall, this has always been the case. It doesn't act the same way. So I, I don't know like what this uh, this this sentiment is being triggered by. It doesn't matter in the slightest that ADA is not moving in the same way that the rest of the market is. Uh, and, and arguably, that could be a better thing, that it's not moving with the rest of the market, because it is a contrarian play. It is different than the rest of the industry. It does stand out. It does have different principles. It does have different fundamentals. It has different technical capacities than the rest of the industry does. Everybody knows this. This is always the case. I'm not worried. You know, uh, I I should really start watching these videos before I actually react to them. As some of the videos that I've, I've reacted to in the past don't really contribute any real value, and, and I would argue this one included. Uh, arguably, like, this is just an after effect of some of the sentiment that could have been seen on social media. This is nothing new. This is stuff that's been expressed from people in, in the past on just freaking Twitter. Uh, I, I don't feel like anything was learned from this. I don't feel like I got any new insights out of it. Uh, but I hope that I added some insights and hopefully provided some value to, to you watching this video uh, in, in whatever which way, uh, but whatever it is. Um, I actually don't think that this is what Ben actually believes. Uh, I I think that it, it is clickbait. I think that the content uh, is, is more reflective of the title, but uh, I, I don't really think that he's given up on Cardano. Um, when it when it starts moving again, he'll pick it back up and he'll get some more views on it by by putting out some some big like bullish ADA video. It's just like 
It's how influencers work, I guess. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you think that Ada is dead? Why or why not? Do you have any better reasons than what Ben, you know, put together in this video? Whatever it is, or if you don't have any opinions on it, maybe you just agree with what I have to say, throw your favorite emoji down in the comment section below, because engagement. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can about this space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.